welcome to Bite Says Piano. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to play on the piano slash keyboard, Lonely by Justin Bieber and Benny Blanco. So I'm gonna teach this one using the piano setting and I'll demonstrate it using a very similar electric piano sound that's in the track. So the one I've got is called Vintage EP. So very, very similar. So if you have a similar sound on yours, if you have an electric piano or keyboard, you could experiment with the sounds and get a really close rendition of what's on the track. So I'll do my best to sing each section as a reference point. I have left the full chords and lyrics linked everywhere down below, so go and check those out if you find them useful. It's mostly the same chords all the way through and being really specific about the inversion of the chords and we're going to add the little extra notes in there as well so it sounds as much like what's on the track as possible so here is middle c on piano there we go so if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano the highest note we'll need is this g so two g's above middle c and then occasionally if i'm playing octaves my lowest note may be out of shot this one's in the key of b minor so on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of B minor. So the chords are formed using those notes. So look at the intro first. I'll teach both hands at the same time. So orange, blue. So just play a single G in the left hand. You can either play the full chord of G major, which is second inversion. So D, G and B. Or you can just play G and B to make that a little bit easier. So you're going to play and then repeat the B. Then play that G again before we go into the next chord, which is F sharp minor. So F sharp in the left hand and F sharp, A, C sharp in the right hand. And then repeat the A play the F sharp. So do that again. And then we go up to B minor second inversion, so B in the left hand, and then F sharp, B, D in the right hand. You're going to play that chord, and then we have B, D, and play those two notes together then play the C sharp. So I'll just do that again. Play the B and D again. And then we have B, D, E. So that's the intro. So I'll do it all from the beginning. And then it's into the verse. So the verse is same chords, so the G major, F sharp minor, B minor. And you repeat that chord progression for the verse twice. So we have, play it on the beat four times, F sharp minor, two, three, four, and then we have B minor for two bars. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and. So you have the E at the end. Then you go back to the G major again. F sharp minor. B minor again. quick C sharp. So the first time at the end you play a quick E and the second time round you play a quick C sharp. So I'll demonstrate that first with the vocals now. Hi there, just quickly before we continue, if you are enjoying the video so far please consider hitting that like button and say hi in the comments section below. If you're brand new here please consider subscribing, 
you know where the button is and make sure to hit that notifications bell so you're notified every time I upload a new tutorial and you can be the first to learn. I've left a load of playlists in the description as well to get you started. I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorial and let's continue. Everybody knows my name now But something about it still feels strange Like looking in a mirror trying to steady yourself and seeing somebody else And everything is not the same now It feels like all our lives have changed Maybe when I'm older it'll all calm down But it's killing me now and then we're into the pre-chorus, so the chords are as follows. There is one new chord, so we have G major again, four times. And then we have A major, so A in the left hand, and second inversion of A major in the right hand, so that's E, A, and C sharp. Use whichever fingers you feel comfortable, four times. up to the F sharp minor that we've played before and then we have G major again but in root position this time two three and then we're gonna play the a quick F sharp to G so you only do that F sharp to G the first time and then you repeat that chord progression again that now. What if you had it all and nobody to call and maybe then you'd know me Cause I've heard everything but no one's listening and that's just fucking lonely I'm so So now we're into the chorus. So there, there's actually, well, we're gonna play everything an octave higher for starters. You're welcome to play octaves in the left hand if you want to, or just play singular notes if you can't stretch octaves. We've got a G major seven. This note sticks out as being the highest note, which is an F sharp. You can either play this just playing B, D and F sharp, and then obviously you'll be playing Gs in the bass. Or you can add the G in there as well. It's not really make that much difference because you're already playing G's in the left hand. So we've got that for four beats. I'm so lonely. So there we've got A major root position this time. So A, C sharp, E. Then F sharp minor again. Lonely. And that G major second version again and then we have a quick B A so do all that chorus again I'm so lonely. Lonely. and then we're into the second verse so it's almost exactly the same as the first verse um, so the, the chords are on the screen, so I'm just going to continue. Everybody knows my past now Like my house was always made of glass And maybe that's the price you pay For the money and fame at an early age And everybody saw me sick And it felt like no one gave a shit the pre-chorus so it's very similar again the chords are on the screen we just have the G major 7 at the end if you had it all but nobody to call and maybe then you'd know me cause I've heard everything but no one's listening So, 
So for the chorus slash outro, we have that G major seven again. And then the A major chord. And then we have a quick D to C sharp. The F sharp minor chord. G second inversion chord. And then a quick D to E. And then G major root position this time. Up to A major. And then quick D to E. And then we have an F sharp minor seven. So you can you can play the full chord in the right hand if you want, which is F sharp, A, C sharp, E or just play effectively an A major again, because you're going to play F sharps in the left hand anyway. Two, three, four. And the very, very end, you're going to play this F sharp three times. And then a quick G to F sharp. And then either just a B and G, or you can play octaves G and B. However you want to play it. So I'll just do all that chorus outro together now. I'm so
So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.